Hello there, Sparky here. Welcome to How to Make War Thunder Cinematics, Part 2. I apologize for the delay. I'm still going through a lot lately. Still really rough for me, but I made a promise and I intend to keep it. In this video, we're going to talk about framing and the 180 degree rule. These are some of the filming techniques I apply in making cinematics. Let's start with the framing. So with framing, I use the rules of thirds. Here's an overlay to what it looks like. So with the thirds, we have two horizontal lines and two vertical lines that are all equally spaced. You can actually enable that in your phone camera to see what it looks like. In recording cinematics, I don't know if there's a way to overlay this layout. I've done a couple of photography work before and also made some short films. So for me, this is muscle memory. Okay, I think I should quit making War Thunder cinematics and just go back to filmmaking. I don't know yet. To demonstrate the rules of thirds, here we have our character. Usually what we automatically do in framing our shots is place our subject dead center in the frame. But if we put our character in one of the intersecting points, or what they call the point of interest, we open up the scene. By opening up the shot, we can now see the relationship of the subject in the background or in the environment. It's also applicable on both sides. So in this shot of Nigel, we just slightly miss the upper left intersecting points. But if we adjust the image, there we go. Looks better now. Now you have to remember, this is not a strict rule. It only means don't always put your character or your subject in the center of the camera. Alright? If you go review my old cinematics, you can see sometimes I break the rule. But most of the times, most of my shots are influenced by the rules of thirds. For example, with the Night Strike cinematic, I broke the rule here a lot. For example, this shot, this shot is not following the rules of thirds. I wanted to film the cinematic like you are in the perspective of the pilots or the crew members of the Lancasters. I follow the rules of thirds only when we're outside the vehicle itself. So this cinematic is film mostly with attached cameras like a GoPro or you're like in the perspective of the crew members of the plane for example the 262 it's filled on a nose camera and then in this shot that's following the rules of thirds well slightly because I miss the upper right intersecting points now let's talk about the 180 degree rule now we're still gonna apply the rules of thirds in this other rule but let's talk about it so, what we have here are two friends facing off with each other, the Nigels and the Ivans. Now, we are on the Ivans' perspective. How will we show Nigel's perspective? But first, I'm gonna show you the incorrect way. Right now, we have the Nigels on the right, and the Nigels are facing the Ivans from right to left, and the Ivans are facing us from left to right. So, what's the issue here? The issue is, in the earlier shot, the Ivans are looking at the Nigels from right to left. Here, let me show you. Now, to properly frame the Nigels, we have to remember the position of the Ivans. Remember, the Ivans are placed on the right side of the frame, and the Nigels are on the left. So, it, me it means when we're gonna switch position, the Nigels should still be in the left side, and the Ivans is gonna be on the right. Now, let's do it. Now that's done, the Ivans are still facing right to left, and the Nigels are still facing from left to right. Even though I wasn't able to nail the framing properly with the thirds, this is the correct way of showing two characters facing each other. I'm gonna demonstrate that in one of the trailers I made. Now that scene is pretty fast because it's for a trailer. But let's break it down. We started the shot with the comet on the lower left point of interest and the tiger is on the top right point of interest. In the next two shots, this is where I broke the rules of thirds to acquire the intense combat against the comet and the tiger. 
as you can see the tiger is dead center on the frame and the comet is also dead center on the frame charging the tiger now with following the 180 degree rule the tiger is still on the right side of the frame in this shot and on the next shot he is still on the right side pointing his cannons at the comet but in this shot this is where we change it up a bit on the storytelling perspective once the comet made it on the right side of the frame he won he successfully flanked the tiger now in this video i showed you the rules of thirds and the 180 degree rule and i also showed you when i break them so if you have any more questions or requests leave them in the comment section down below I hope you find this really helpful and I wish you luck in your future cinematics. If you're wondering when's my next cinematic coming out, I don't have an answer for that yet. I'm still in the I'm still having some financial issues. Let's hope soon I can return. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to share this to your friends. I would also like to say thank you to Sniper for supporting the channel on Patreon. Once again, I hope you find this video educational and entertaining of course. Well, that's it for this video. Sparky is out and always take care. See you guys soon.